today we're making mee goreng or fried noodles, Singapore Malay style. This is a classic noodle stir fry dish and I'm making mine my favorite way with lots and lots of gorgeous seafood. This is really easy as well, so uh, let's go! Alright, the first most important ingredient for good Malay mee goreng, dried chili paste. Today, I'm using the store-bought version just to show you what it would typically look Ooh. like. The store-bought version usually has salt in it and sometimes also vinegar which act as a preservatives for the dried chili paste which is why I would always much rather make my own dried chili paste. In any case, this is what you get with the store-bought dried chili paste and you can also use sambal or lick. Next, let's talk protein. You can use whatever protein you like, like chicken, beef, even firm tofu, but I love using some seafood. It really helps to level up an otherwise basic dish. I love me some prawns, so peel some prawns and you want to keep these heads and shells too, okay? Keep them in the freezer for some seafood broth. And I also am going to be using squid. I removed the head here and give it a wash before slicing it up into rings just like this also i found a baby fish in my squid oh my god so. these are sliced up fish cakes you can also use fish balls as well and since we don't want to waste fish i'm going to be adding the fish slash squid last meal to this as well no just kidding don't do that gross okay and we're ready to cook in a pan add plenty of oil once the oil is hot, lower the heat and add the dried chili paste. The amount you use is up to you. I'm using about 4 tablespoons here, but use less if you want lesser spice, okay? Saute the dried chili paste over low heat. You want to stir continuously until the oil splits. This is when the chili paste sort of dries down and the oil has turned red. At this stage, turn the heat to a medium and add in our onions as well as some garlic. Give that a quick saute until it's fragrant and then we add in all of our seafood that we prepared earlier. Once the prawns turn pink, add in our noodles. I'm using the classic fresh yellow noodles here, but you can use whatever noodle of choice. I've even made these with spaghetti noodles. While you're there, let's add in our seasoning of oyster sauce. This is dark sweet soy sauce or a kicap manis, as well as some tomato ketchup. And then give all of that a nice good toss. A tip here, I used two spatulas just for easier tossing and also because I have very weak arms. Push your noodles to one side like this and then add in the eggs. If needed, you can add some oil first. Then scramble the eggs and mix all of that in with the noodles. Add a final seasoning of salt and sugar, only if you need it. I only needed sugar here since the store-bought dried chili paste had some salt in it already. And then I'm going to, of course, add some vegetables. I'm using some um, green leafy vegetables. I don't even know what type this is, but yes, anyway, you want to give all of that a nice good tossing. This is a quick process, but if you find your noodles getting a little dry, then just add a couple tablespoons of water to moisten it right back up. This is totally, absolutely optional, but if you can take the heat or you like that spicy lifestyle, add a couple of chopped Thai bird's eye chilies. 
give it some nice few final tosses to really get everything mixed in and incorporated and once the vegetables have all wilted, you are done! This mee goreng is so delicious and really quick to make and you can get creative with the ingredients. Seafood just levels it up for me. So give this yummy Singapore Malay fried noodles a go and bye! If you want more Asian noodle recipes, go on and click on any of this right now.